100 FM, The Pike, Worcester's Classic Hits. We've been working toward this for weeks and weeks, months, really. And now it's time, this Saturday, for Hairfest 2019. And we are delighted to have with us, in the studio this morning, one of the featured groups. Welcome to Shot of Poison. Here, for one reason and one reason alone, to inspire you to come and join us, if you can, because it's almost sold out. That's what I hear. Let's bring in, not Brett, Fred. How about Fred Michaels? Good morning, Fred. Good morning, Bruce. How are you? Just looking at you already gets me geared up for Hairfest because all of a sudden I'm back about 30 years or more with the most incredible image of Michaels in my mind. You guys have only been together, what, a year and a half, right? About that. It was originally put together, Shot of Poison was originally about 10 years ago. And then it's kind of been re-sparked uh, about two and a half, three years ago. I recently joined the band a year and a half ago. So, But uh, Shot of Poison's had a pretty good following, and a lot of people kind of following us around for, for many years now. Well, uh, from just a year and a half ago to now, you guys have exploded. You're going all over the place. You're not just Worcester. You're not just New England. You're uh, going halfway across the country. Correct. We've done shows in uh, over 11 states this year. Um, through the summer, we played lots of festivals out in Ohio, Indiana, Pennsylvania, upstate New York. Um, and then up in New England, in Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, we've been everywhere. Tell me about the guys seated on either side of you. We'd like to welcome, well, how about B.B.? Come on in here, B.B. Hey, I'm Bruce. How you doing? Now, Bruce, Bruce is uh, a part of a very important mix here because anything you read, you watch, if you've never seen Shot of Poison in person, you have to take it from the words of the fans. They say authentic barely begins to describe what you guys do. And that's what we're doing because a tribute is supposed to be authentic. You know, big difference between a cover band and a tribute band. People, when they can't see the, the real band, have to, because they're either too far away or they're not playing anymore or whatever, they want to get the experience of what they used to see or they've always wanted to see. With Shot of Poison, that's what we've done. Uh, ten years ago when it was started, it was put to rest after some personnel changes. Two years ago, we decided to put the band together with great members and uh, basically say, hey, play your parts. Now, if you're not aware, we do Poison as they are today. We call it the 30th anniversary of them from 1987. We look like Poison does today. You know, uh, Frank transforms like he does great. We all do. And we play the music like the record. There's something about the old phrase, hey, we're getting the band back together. And... <laughs> Yes. That's what's going on. Tell me about Adam. Would you introduce your bandmate for me? This is uh, Adam Buck, who plays Bobby Dollface on bass. Adam is the social uh, money. The, he's the guy behind all the spreadsheets, as well as on stage, keeps us band together, and has helped us make over 30 great shows this year and helping us get very popular with social media. That's right, and I have a lot of fun doing it, too. So, in other words, when you three get together, it's not just a job of bringing the past back. But it's a passion, and it's a great time, and I'll bet that carries right off the stage to the audience. Absolutely. As Bruce said, I think people really enjoy seeing Poison as they are today portrayed, rather than attempting to look like they did in the 80s. A lot of bands try to do that, and they don't usually succeed. Um, <laughs> a little on the creepy side. Yeah, fair enough. All right. <laughs> we've, we've worked really hard at it. I think the music's great. Poison tributes are not common, so it's been uh, it's been successful. You know, speaking of being creeped out, I'm almost a little bit as to just how much I think I'm looking at a different guy named Michaels when I talk to Fred. It's just it's eerie. How much of your time is spent really pouring over, say, recent past video of the group? and therefore finding your way to capture it just right? That's a really good question. When I first joined the band, it became very clear to me that they really wanted to just embrace the exact look of Brett Michaels and how he looks today. I sent in, it, it's a long story how I got in the band, but basically I knew uh, the drummer who's unfortunately not with us today, Kenny, uh, who plays Kenny Rocket in the band. He reached out to me that they were looking for a new lead singer for today, and I sent in a quick video of me doing Every Rose Has Its Thorn, and they're in, I joined the band. Now, joining and starting to practice, they made it very clear, like I said, to look exactly like Brett. And to answer your question, I spend endless hours still today looking at Brett's videos, how he acts on stage, how he looks, talks, walks, sings, everything, embraces the crowd. And I try to be Brett Michaels on stage. I'm not myself. I am Fret Michaels on stage. And it's, it's, it is what it is. It gives the fans that absolute feeling of they're watching Poison. Um, we recently have people come up to us today and say, I can't believe it's like being at a Poison concert. And you're being humble because this guy, <laughs> when, he, when, he, when he auditioned for the band, he's a drummer. 
He didn't play guitar. He's covered in tattoos. He didn't. Uh, he didn't have blue eyes. He had brown uh, hair. He had brown hair. <laughs> well, like, and I don't even know if he had the good tea. And we're like, yeah. yeah. He goes, guys, guys, give me two weeks. I kid you not. Okay, he's being humble. He came back two weeks later and played every rose live on guitar. He learned how to play guitar. He got blue contacts in two guys, weeks. Uh, his first song. Granted, it's only three chords. Sorry, but he learned it. He's a drummer, and he never played guitar. So he did a great job. And see all these tattoos? Guess what? When he's live, they're gone. And they have copies of Brett tattoos on them, to the T. Go look at some pictures of us live. Put Bob makeup over all my tattoos that I've gained over the years, and then I put Brett Michaels tattoos on me, where he has the poison tattoo, and he has the Every Rose has its thorn tattoo with the dagger. Something tells me you spend a lot of time in your dressing room. I do. <laughs> I do. I'm well, jealous of my girlfriend and how little time it takes her to get ready after I get ready for a show. Well, <laughs> it's now, the other way around. <laughs> for me, it's strange being in a band full of guys and hearing things like, where's my mascara? <laughs> <laughs> Can you hand me my, my hat box? Yeah, or my long eyelashes. I guess. <laughs> and do you have hair spray? Well, let's face it. Hair is the operative word because that's what it is this weekend. Hair, hair Fest 2019. Yeah. Wow. Last wow. year, we did the first one. Yes. You were there. Yes. It was a great crowd. This year, double it. I mean, the place is going to be rocking. We're probably going to fill over 3,000 seats. That's correct. Uh, and we are going to hear that echoing across the lake. It's been an amazing, successful show, and I think it's because of the lineup that was there last year, uh, the little tease that we gave everybody. We're on the lineup this year. We have Welcome to the Jungle, a great Guns N' Roses tribute band. We have Bon Jersey, an amazing Bon Jovi tribute band. Shot of Poison, of course. Aquanet, who does all kinds of 80s cover songs. They're amazing. And Dirty Deeds, who's wow. yeah, one of the yeah. best local, <laughs> I say local, but yeah, New England-ish ACDC yeah. cover bands. They're amazing. So the lineup's amazing. It is going to be a sellout, and the doors open at 11. I just wanted to say that because getting 3,000 people through the gate for the music starting at noon will be tough, so get yeah. there early. It is going to be a packed house, that's for sure. And, of course, it's a full day. I mean, this thing goes all day long. The, the show doesn't really wrap up until around dinner time, about 6 o'clock. So come out for a full day of fun for the 80s Revisited. Man, you just throw in uh, a DeLorean and Ronald Reagan and you got the whole decade. Got it. So we're ready to go. It's coming up uh, this week, well, Saturday. This Saturday, I don't think anybody is going to be in their seat from noon to 6 o'clock. I don't believe so. Guys, thanks for coming here this morning. Awesome. Thank, thank you, Bruce.